This is a child that's a teenager, and um, I gave him some, uh, he was anoxic, and he was anoxic more than 15 minutes. And so he had global damage. He lost rotation in his trunk. He was rigid. He was high tone. The primitive reflexes came back. He also had tremors in his body, especially showing up in his handwriting. I used a vibrator on the upper quadrant of his arms and his legs to decrease the trimmer. I'm a proponent of using cheap stuff because they can then use it at home. As you see, a pre-cut two-foot PVC pipe that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's or some hardware store. They're already cut, already smooth on the ends, but then he can see he is rotating or not. In this, he is rotating. If you rotate, you can pick your feet up and have more even gait. If you do not rotate, for example, if your children are on a walker or if they're in a gait trainer, it secures their body and it will not allow rotation. Think of walking free of the walker so the child can gain rotation. Then they have the potential to walk free with uh, rotation and balance. That seems like a great activity too to incorporate into games and even like a little hockey game, right? Having to hold both right. sides of the stick. Wonderful.